So something I got used to get confused about at the start, people talk about spring cabbage, summer cabbage, you know, wh what are the differences and, and when should we sow them? Yeah, well you get summer, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Yeah, yeah. It's, you could have it 10 months of the year in your garden. If you sow yeah. now, middle of April, if you sow summer cabbage, autumn cabbage and winter cabbage, yeah. all at the same time, okay. all today, you'll get them in succession. Okay. Yeah, so from one sowing, you'll have them ready from July mm. onwards until January the mm. following year. Mm. So they don't need to be succession sown if you choose the right varieties. Yeah. So the, the way we sow the seeds is we have a modular tray and fine seed compost. And then we fill it up by just rubbing the lumps away. So nice and full, overfill it first. And then don't compress the modules with your fingers. The only firming you need to do is two or three firm bangs and that'll settle the compost nicely into it. Of course, then we cut off the excess compost. We sow them about fingernail depth, or about one and a half to two centimeters deep. So you make little holes, indentations into the cells. I find it the easiest is to put seeds onto a piece of paper. And with a pencil, or pen, you put one seed in each cell. When you're finished, you put fine seed compost, overfill it again, and then scrape it off. And that's it, that's ready. You just water it in gently. Don't overwater. Overwatering is just as bad as underwatering because the seeds may rot away. And that's it. Probably about four to six weeks. All the cabbages, cabbage yeah. family tribe, you know the brassicas so-called. Yeah. They're all the same. Yeah, They're yeah. all very quick to germinate within a week and within four to six weeks you can yeah. plant them out. But, uh, the, the cabbages are the one type of vegetable that will forgive you anything. Right. Any torture in the tray, you know. Okay. They are pot bound. Another vegetable might react by bolting or, or really being angry, but yeah. the, these ones are perfect, you know, they, they'll grow out of it in no time. We plant them in fertile soil up to their neck, up to the first leaf. We'll plant them now quite firm and the spacing is about a foot and a bit. The wider you space them, the bigger your head will be. I'm actually quite lazy and I plant nearly all my different types of cabbages around now, end of May. Okay. That'll be the summer, autumn and winter cabbages. Right. And the winter cabbages, they just take a little bit longer to mature. Yeah. Yeah, the summer cabbages are planted at the same time, but they're ready in August. Autumn cabbages in October and the winter cabbages in December, January. The Dutch cabbage, which is this red Dutch cabbage, a foot and a half right. is perfect. Yeah. So size nine wellies will give you a foot and firm planting again. If you see that the, soil, the plant is struggling after a while, we'll top dress it with uh, poultry pellets. Yeah, sure. But it mightn't be necessary at all, but we'll watch it and see how it goes. First of all, it's the most beautiful plant, mm. isn't it? But with any brassica, you look at any holes in the leaves and they'll be caused by the cabbage white butterfly yeah. caterpillars. Yeah. So you just check underneath either a cluster of yellow eggs or the caterpillars. Cabbage root fly would be another one, yeah. And But you would have seen the plants dying already. Yeah. It affects them more when they're small after you've planted them and they're mm. still small. It's, it's the, the fly of the cabbage root fly which lays its eggs at the base of the stem. And then as regards feeding during the season, do we need to... Oh, absolutely. They're greedy once we yeah. want the leaves to grow fast, so yeah. we sprinkle poultry pellets around yeah. us. Poultry pellets will last for about three months, okay. and that's the time they'll, they'll need it. It's just a top dressing class, isn't it? And then just yeah. maybe give it a bit of a... a ruffle in. A ruffle yeah. into the soil. And the rain will take the nutrients and release them on the cabbages. Yeah. Sometimes they can get a little bit leggy, and then you can just earth them up like that, right up okay. to the growing. Point. And what kind of year would you expect them then to form a form a heart? Well, they'll be ready now by October, yeah, yeah. and and they'll store for a good few months, two yeah. months at least, yeah. as a head. Now we're back with our red cabbages. Now we actually had to replant um, because we lost a couple of our earlier ones, so they're quite small. But we're in December now, and these are going to be absolutely perfect for your Christmas dinner. You can see that it's hearting up nicely now. We've got a good solid head there. So we're just going to cut through here. Now, as you can see now, that's, that's a lovely head. And what I love about red cabbage, I'm just going to cut through this just to show you. Now, look at that. 
Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? Great for cooking, that adds a lovely red uh, color and texture to, to your plate. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.